His name is Iken Nannanude. Her name is Georgina Chamakedam. This is the Presbyterian Church of Nigeria, First Abuja Parish. Seven ministers are here to join them as husband and wife. Marriage is a holy condition of life, instituted by and blessed by our God's gracious presence. You know this song, don't you? Yes, I do. Okay. And uh, I hope he has done all he's supposed to do according to your custom. Yes. You are very sure. He's not waiting you. took the first and second Bible readings. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make him a helper suitable for him. Christ, send to us to your Lord as we do to the Lord. Reverend Dr. Ono, the Reverend in charge of this parish, encouraged them to serve each other. It's a long journey and they need prayers all the way. Today, the ministers of God and the body of Christ say that this connects them from every connection with wickedness in the name of Jesus. They received gifts from different parishes and departments of the church. Chiamaka and Ikenna attended Covenant University in Otago State. She studied computer engineering. Ikenna studied electrical and electronics engineering. Thereafter, they proceeded to Canada for their master's degrees. Their friends were in the know about their relationship from the outset. Ikenna was my roommate in 2015, and uh, 
Amaka reached out to me through a mutual friend that she needed an accommodation in Montreal. I said, when Nikina went to stalk her on Facebook, <laughs> we checked her and we saw, we saw her. Nikina turns to me as like, yo, that's my baby. And, <laughs> and I waited and I waited for her to come, but she couldn't make it. And I told Nikina to wait for her. Nikina welcomed her. And Amaka sent me a message that's like, yo, I like Nikina. And I. <laughs> And Awaka tells me that, don't tell Ikena anything. The next call I make is to Ikena, like, Ikena, shoot your shot. <laughs> and, and Ikena shot his shot, and yeah, <laughs> that's it. I remember when um, Amaka told me how she and Ikena met, that he saw her son name, and he was asking her where she was from, and she said Nigeria, and he said, no, 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 where? And she said, a boy in Africa, and he was like, oh, really, I'm also from Africa. So when she told me the story, in my mind, I'm like, uh, Amaka has seen us bad, though. Uh -uh. <laughs> like that? A few months down the line, I had a dream that she got married to Ikena. Hallelujah. Engineer and engineer Mrs. Ode, please discuss right now and let me have the number of children you want to give birth to. Three. Wow, wow, they dropped it. Praise the Lord. And he's smiling. Don't wonder. You are my son. Uh -huh. He has done some eclectic looks. Hey, your brothers are here. Your brother, your brother is here. Your sister. What? Your Their proud parents are overjoyed. I feel wonderful. I feel fulfilled. Let me use that word. I feel great. It's, uh, it's fulfilling. Great. I feel great. I feel elected. I, f I thank God. I am too, uh, in fact, I'm excited. What a wonderful, memorable day. Hey! Sweet thank you! Sweet don't cry again, don't cry again. Are you sure? Are you sure now? The shoe game helped the guests to know them better. Which one of you has the better fashion sense. Who first toasted the other? Chiama Kanikena's parents have weathered the storms of life together for more than three decades. They have recipes for a long-lasting marriage. All our expectations is that our children should do better in everything than us. We started from the scratch. We were not able to go the level of education they have gone and so they don't have excuse they don't just have excuse i advise my daughter and my son that this journey they are starting today that they should look unto god to guide them in their marriage life there is so much about themselves that they, they have not known this is the opportunity for them to study each other they should be patient with one another and responsive to the feelings of the other and also respect the opinions of the other. Even though the husband is the head, but they are actually partners in this business. I gained a lot in the management of my family by dragging, drawing every member of my family to the church. There's no one best way of doing things. I passed the button to them. The button, the button is the Bible. I hand over the Bible to them. The chairman of the occasion, who is also an engineer, counseled them this way. The Holy Spirit cannot lead you astray. And that is why you must create a time to sit down and listen to the Holy Spirit. This couple has started off this lifelong journey on the right foot. We wish engineer and engineer Mrs. Uday marital bliss.